what's going on guys? So I'm going to show you today in the next five minutes how to set up the three main indicators on your TD Ameritrade Trader application. I know that this is a question that a lot of you guys have been asking and this is because so I know this is a question that a lot of you guys have been asking, so I really hope that you guys enjoy. Let's get right to it. So you guys should be seeing the little screen that pops up. We're going to hop on that uh, TD Ameritrade application. Boom, 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 right? And let's just go ahead and select DWT. DWT has been absolutely killing it. Forget about what the stock is. And you can already see that I have like the RSI indicator. You can see that I have my VWAP indicator set up. You can see that I already have my MACD indicator set up. So that's not really fair, right? But you're going to move on over here. You're going to go ahead and click on that little chemical flask. So we're going to click on that. You can see that all my indicators and all my studies are already added. So I'm going to remove them right here, right here. So a simple moving average, let's remember that one. And let's just go and actually start to add them, right? So we're gonna go, and again, these are the indicators that I use. It doesn't mean that you have to use them. Uh, this is just showing you how to access, you know, um, the study uh, option uh, for your TD Ameritrade app. I just added the MACD indicator. One thing that I do is that I don't like to have all these different settings and you can adjust it depending on your specific preference. Um, I don't want to get too much into it. So I'm just going to leave the MACD like that. It's really the VWAP indicator uh, that I mess with a little bit more. So let's spell that correctly. So here we go, the VWAP indicator. I'm going to click add. And the really cool thing about this is that you can just click on it. Um, all the settings that I have set up are pretty much default, but it's the colors that I personally like to change. So if I go right here and then just click done, you can see that the VWAP indicator, well, it actually added it um, kind of like, you know, how, how we normally have it. So I guess it's actually not that bad, um, but I'm going to actually change it um, just very quickly. So I'm going to go here. So negative two plus two day up. So VWAP band, upper band. Okay. Um, I like the top color to be red. And again, that's just my preference. It doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to go there. And again, we have my uh, VWAP indicator all set up. If I want to add, you know, now the RSI, guess what you do? You click on that little chemical flask. You search up study RSI, boom, click add, boom, we're good. And then we're going to add the SMA indicator. So uh, the SMA indicator is like the simple moving average. Sometimes you have to change the wording depending on what it is that you're searching for. Simple moving average. I like to have it at a length of 180. So I'm simply going to search that uh, and put that there. We're going to click back. We're going to click done. And there we go. It should be added. Let's go ahead and look at the, there we go. Um, oh, okay. So quick little update. You see that there's all these like arrows and stuff like that. Um, pointing um, when it's like in and out and stuff like that. Um, that's not something that I personally like. So I'm going to go back here. And if I'm not mistaken, it might be the simple moving average that um, might have it on. So it says the up. Um, so they're called. So under plot settings, it's up signals and down signals. I don't care about that. So I'm going to turn those off. And again, that's my preference. It doesn't mean that you have to follow that. By, by, but by turning that off, I simply remove all those arrows that I find to be completely irrelevant. So again, that's how you add um, the different studies on your TD Ameritrade application. Um, oh, weird flex, but uh, those were my profits on Thursday. And if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram already, uh, be sure to do so. Um, again, the link is down below. I believe it's like that fifth or sixth link down in the description. Uh, we just broke a little bit over 70,000 followers on Instagram, and I have a little bit over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. So really do appreciate your guys' time. Again, all the links are down below on how to stay connected. I run the largest YouTube channel for those who invest in the stock market. Uh, so if you're looking for more ways on how to get started and for helpful videos, then I created a helpful video playlist that's made just for you. Um, literally over a thousand videos here on YouTube uh, that can help you and get you on your way. If you want to work with me a little bit on a closer basis, be sure to click that first link down in the description. That's our Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library. You can watch me trade live every single day. It's not pre-recorded. It's not something that I upload later. It's not once a week. It's not once a month. It's every single day when the market's open, Monday through Friday, right? So I hope you guys all have an amazing Veterans Day weekend. Uh, thank you to all those that have served. Again, all the links are down below for those that want to stay connected. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. And on top of that, if you guys haven't subscribed already, we'd love to be a part of your success. Let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team. I'm on a new level. 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 Brought me a new shovel.